This is the Arva Evo 5 Avalanche Beacon, and as you can see, it's very small, uh, smaller than a smartphone these days, and the idea is you put it in a pocket, but you have this uh, waist strap so it doesn't get ripped off, and that goes in a pocket somewhere, uh, such as that from pocket, or certainly in your trousers, not in the coat that you might take off. Turn it on, press that little button down, and slide this switch. It's not very easy to get into the semi mode. It goes through a little self-check. Gives you battery level. And then you have the option of doing a group check. Press the mark button. In group check mode, it brings the range of the beacon right down so that you can just check beacons that are in your group. So you can see this beacon's okay. And it checks the beacon for transmission power and for frequency. To turn the beacon off, you basically have to do everything, it, you can slide to the off button, and when it says check, press off. So you have to do what it tells you. So if you want to search, you have to push this button down and slide across. And we're now in search mode. And uh, our beacon's not very far away, but uh, you can see we've got a distance of 8.2. It's telling us to go to the left, which is inconvenient because there's You've got an audible sound for getting closer. And here we're within uh, three meters, so we're going to cross mode to search. And keep fairly slowly here. 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. Okay, we're about here, so we'll come down to the snow level. Yeah, a little bit of lag. It seems to have a... Oh. Well, can't do better than naught. And there we, we have it, the arm is not very deeply buried, but just to give you a little demonstration. What we can do now is we can mark that arbor, and now we... That, the signal from that beacon, that beacon, that arv is still transmitting and the signal is being blotted out and we can now go and search the next beacon which is this person on his skis over here so that's a very simple look, a very quick look at that and we can see we've got one marked and we have a second be be uh, victim it's now telling us that we have to turn around, we're going in the wrong direction for that victim I'm going to check it's a range check, I do a range check on the Evo 5, see what kind of distance we get compared to this uh, um, Barry Rocks mammoth that's on the ground here, Pulse. Right over there where I stopped is the range you get. Remember that's in open ground uh, without the beacons being buried. If you're under snow, you can figure you'll get about half that distance. It's about 50 meters. So I've gone into search mode. I'm getting some erratic signals. Is it because the beacon's picking up the signal? Is it just trying a bit too hard? Now this is one of the comments I've seen with the Evo 5. You have to wait, really. So we'll be checking here. Now we're starting to get a it's leading us up there. No. See, this can be confusing. If you know that the, there was no signal behind you, it's a question of carrying on until you get a more stable signal. Remember, we're right on the Y flux lines here. And then you see it's lost the signal again. There, it's picked something up.
we know the person's not behind us. Now it seems to settle on a more Now within 10 meters. There we go. So, my, so one of the criticisms I've uh, read from people who've been using this beacon is that it's a bit erratic out at long ranges. And we saw that, that uh, it's possible that the, the pulse isn't uh, in its first flush of youth, so this kind of thing you have to deal with on the ground. Uh, so if you know where you're searching across on the avalanche, you need to just continue in, in the direction once you pick up a signal, ignore the fact it's uh, telling you to um, go off to the right. Obviously uh, the flux lines, if you think about them, are circular, so you might tend to follow a circular pattern as you home in on the beacon, which is a bit confusing. You need to do a bit of trading with this beacon, I think, to be uh, to be uh, totally comfortable with it and uh, the arrow is fairly coarse as well it's got uh, five positions I think in total so uh, you're going from there to there which is about 30 degrees off in a different direction when it's maybe following the flux line isn't quite as exaggerated as that <laughs> 